Please. <laughs> Where's the doctor? Where's the doctor? effect on your heart yet. We'll be sending you upstairs for some more tests. You can sit up and rest for a while now. Doc, I'd like to talk to him. In a minute. But first I'd like to ask you a few questions. I understand you and Detective Starsky have been partners for some time now. That's right. Yes, he uh, said you were his best friend. Doctor, what are, you, what are you trying to tell me? I don't think your friend's going to make it. His relatives and any other close friends should be notified. <laughs> well, of course he's going to make it. He, you got him in a hospital, don't you? You're running tests on him. You... Does he know? He asked me to tell you. He said he hates soapy scenes. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even think I dreamed at all. The guy who did it, Starsky. Was there anything about him? Nothing. But I wasn't exactly rolling with both horns at the time. Doc says I was drugged first. You know, something to make me fuzzy enough so I couldn't object. But you were clear enough to know what was going on. Whatever it was, wanted to enjoy himself. What about his voice? Did you... Did you, did you fix a, a pattern? Well... It's about as dirty a laugh as I've ever heard. Uh, I get a feeling it's somebody I know. 
Franklin. What about the 24 hours? Does it hold? If it's a progressive type poison, yes, its term could be predictable. The blood sample taken at the puncture indicates a poisonous compound, probably of the organic chloride grouping. Unfortunately, it could be any one of 50 varieties, and we can't prescribe the antidote with any certainty until we know the exact composition. That plain enough? What about the poisonous compound was? Thank you. No. You know, it's amazing. You're well, you think that they got a miracle cure for everything. You get sick, they can't even cure the common cold. My best medical advice at the moment indicates a series of tests. We'll be able to deduce certain things from changes in your body chemistry. Doc, pursuing our own, as I say, line of expertise, my partner feels he can deduce certain things faster than you can. I mean, that's part of his job. That's right, but you're not going anywhere. Look, you're thinking the same thing I am. We're looking for some flake with a mean laugh who knows exactly what was in that shot, right? Right. Well, well, I'm still feeling okay. We find him and ask him. Okay, where are my pants? I, I, I can't forbid this, but I think it's unwise. Doc, I appreciate what you're saying, but what it really comes down to is one question. Can you guarantee that if I stay here, you're going to be able to come up with the answer in time? Okay, then I'd like to take a shot at it. Now, if we don't score by uh, 10 o'clock tonight, I'll come back and give you another crack at it, okay? Find my pants. Uh, got your watch. You forgot my pants? Do you mean you want me to hit the streets with no pants, no badge, no gun, no dignity? What's the matter with you? You believe him? Right, stars. I should have left you lying on the floor while I decided which pair of your equally crummy blue jeans I should pack. They're all looking at you. This is Zebra 3. Pass me through to R9. R9, Collins. Go ahead, Zebra 3. Charlie, this is Hutch. Pull every case we've worked on in the past five years and have them on our desks when we get down there. No chance, Hutch. Everybody wants everything yesterday. Have you any idea of our workload? Collins will be there in 20 minutes. That's how long you got. Hey, take it easy. He's got no way to know what's going down. Do it, will you, Charlie? It's that important. Captain Doby will confirm. Have him call receiving hospital and check on Starsky. Any second thoughts about leaving the hospital? Do you? I could be wrong, but then I'll be walking around tomorrow. Well, the doctor was pretty straight about our chances. Yeah. As I see it, it's who do we trust time. Is that Huggy? Hey, what it is? I got a job for you. Hey, I'm gainfully employed. Honest. I got a job as a travel agent. It's a hard book, but an honest one. Need any airplane tickets? What have you heard about a hit going down? On who? Me. Sparing the grim details, some guy got into my house this morning and gave me a shot. Now you gotta be putting me on. I don't think he was putting me on either. Need your help, up. You gotta ask. I'll do everything I can. Something will turn. Thanks, Hub. Stars? Mm -hmm. Take a look at this one. Sorry about the static. Okay. 11.36. Always did think you were a clock watcher. Now, come on, Dave. There must be something you remember about this guy. Eyes, hair, build. You hear that? Call me Dave. Things some people won't do to get on a first-name basis. Really? All right, let's see. Uh, vaguely, uh, white, male, 35 to 50. Medium build. Any or all possibly inaccurate.
to pull the computer cards and run them against that make. This way we'll eliminate the uh, sharp, fat, black, and female. Then we'll run them against the uh, in prisons, hospitals, out of towns. Hutch. Number one. The hospital analysis of the chemical traces of the puncture. Black? Fine. Chlorhydrin and what might be bromoacetone. They couldn't get a fix on the rest. Level with you. Normal body functioning depends on the central nervous system transmitting automatic impulses. To see, to breathe, to sweat, to swallow, cough. Oversimplified, certain progressive poisons attack the central system and block the impulses. What happens? Uncontrolled perspiration, distorted vision, loss of coordination, difficult breathing, coma. When it gets bad, I can help the pain some, but... Cheryl, he's going to need the best that the chemistry field can offer, right? How is it with your father? Doesn't seem to want to see me. Or anybody. Can you ask him to help? I've already tried. He hasn't returned my call. Look, I'll go out to the house if I have to. Thank you. Twenty possibles reduced to these three primes. Dick Bellamy, Jonas Martini, and Al Waddell. Nick Bellamy. I don't know. Busted him out at the university about a year ago with a suitcase full of red devils. Pimp pusher, armed robbery, a couple of suspected homicides. Really hated me. No taste bum. Here's Al Waddell. Possible. Busted him with six kilos of Mexican brown H. Big dealer. Know something about chemistry from testing his stuff. Yeah, he promised to waste us both. Cold calculating type. Really thought his clients were dirt. Didn't have time for anybody. Janos Martini. Good old boy. Used to run a porno studio for the kinky trade. You know, whips, chains. Once beat his girlfriend half to death in front of a camera. Yeah, good old Janos mixing business and pleasure, huh? Well, we don't have an address on Jonas, but he shouldn't be too hard to find. A nude girl, brownie, he's back in business. What about the others? Al Waddell dropped out of action several months ago. Same for Martini. The only address we have is on Vic Bellamy. That makes him our first stop. He's been in that cast. Four weeks. Why? Hey, what is this? How about strike one? Sorry, lady. You got a feel on him? Same as always, a crump. Want me to drive? Or get us both killed? Why am I trying to make you feel better? 
You know something, Starsk? What? It's always toughest in the ones left behind. I'll believe that when I hear from somebody who went first. There's a Zebra 3 to control, Detective Hutchinson. Put me through to Dolby, will you? Yeah, Hutch. Scratch Bellamy. OK. Listen, Shaw's located four supply houses that handle chlorohydrin. I'm getting teams out to them. What about Waddell and Martini? No, nothing yet. Well, what the hell are you guys doing down there? What do you mean, what the hell am I doing? Listen, Hutchison. Are you I'm... listen to me, Captain? Wait, I mean, wait a minute, I'm not through yet. Come on. Captain, you have to forgive Hutch. He's feeling a bit skittish. <laughs> yeah, well, tell him I am too. Hey, did you hear that? Captain, I think Hutch wants to apologize. Oh, come on, let's not get sickening about this, huh? Well, what about Martini's old girlfriend, Sweet Alice? Do you have a current address on her? Yeah, I've got an address. Why don't I think of that? That's a good idea, Captain. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's busy. Mm -hmm. If she is, how do we get invited in? What did I say? We slipped 20 bucks under the door. Sweet Alice? Yeah. Make it at least 50, huh? Boy, you are romantic. <laughs> hey, I'll take the back. I'll wait 20 seconds and then knock. Alice! Y'all come on in and have a drink, huh? Hi, sweet Alice. <laughs> hey, did you stop by to bust me or just for a little friendly conversation? I know. You're looking for somebody. How do you feel about Janus? <sighs> oh, my. Time heals. I just mildly hate his guts now. <laughs> well, then you wouldn't mind telling us where he is. Oh. Uh, knowing he wouldn't find out it was me that told you about him. Uh, he's got a little business ingeniously called Sexational Films. He bought himself a grocery store and he's calling it a sound stage. Somewhere on Channing Avenue, I think. Hey, what's the matter? Thanks, Alice. Thank hey, you. wait, what's the beef? Nothing trivial, I hope. No, I'm afraid not. Hey, you all right, Stars? Mm. Well, you just sweating all over the place. You got a fever? Uh, yeah. You gotta go around back. Would you mind moving? Does that handle it? Got a warrant? No, I don't got a warrant. You got a warrant? Nope. Well, that about covers it, huh? Yeah. You know something, Starsky's right. You can't go on in there without probable cause. Like stupid here taking a swing at us. Wait a second. Which one of these flakes you're calling stupid? The creepy looking one. Gotta be more specific. Oh, it's the guy who never picks on anybody's own size because his kicks intimidate young girls and old women. Two turkeys better split. You hear when we come out? You believe they bought that, huh? Uh, uh. Stop. You're 
make it, huh? My stomach hasn't had this bad since my Aunt Rosie sent me a special chicken soup. <laughs> easy. Easy now. Come on. Just try to relax. She never could get the hang of it. She'd be a great one, though. You think you can make it, huh? Give me a minute. Okay. Huh? How do I look? You look terrible. Ginger, this isn't a gum movie. Take it out of your mouth. All right, could you give us a little feeling? Come on, come on. All right, everybody, settle down. Stand still, this will be a take. Roll film. Oh, hey, Dennis, old buddy. Come on, Dennis, huh? Hey! Where were you at 4 o'clock this morning? What are you guys, crazy? What's the beef? Don't answer a question with a question. At my apartment, we started shooting at 5. I was here at 4.30. Ask the crew. Come on, Janice. You expect us to take the word of these flakes on anything? Tell them a funny story. I don't feel too funny this morning, Jonas. So I want you to pretend that I told you a real knee slapper. What do you guys want? I want you to laugh. <laughs> Be careful with that lens. It costs 2,500 bucks. Well, that's funny. Yeah. I bet it's worth every penny, too. It's a great close-up. Laugh, Janos. Uh, uh. Hey, wouldn't want to lose my pension at this point. You can laugh better than that, Janos, huh? You're right about this thing giving great close-ups. Oh, pl pl please, please don't drop that lens. I'm in hock to my wife's brother for that. Laugh, Janos. Uh, uh. <laughs> Come on, Janos, laugh! <laughs> Give it to me from the belly! <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not it. Thanks, Janos. A great performance. Really great. Pessimist says the bottle's half empty. The optimist says it's half full. Oh, it hurts, Hutch. Oh, God, it hurts. I know. I know. Hey, buddy, I'm here. the double bill at the Rivoli and still finish that book up. <laughs> we know it's not Bellamy. And we know it's not Jonas. All we've got to do is to find Waddell. Only well, ain't turning up. Well, we've got a whole police force looking in this city and ain't showing. That's because you and me aren't on the streets. Oh. As soon as we get back on the streets, we'll turn that turkey. 
probably find him in a trash can. Sure. Get the streets run down a few hours. Bust down a few doors. Get a few snitches working. The guy won't have a chance. <laughs> sure, will you hurry up with that stuff? Here, this will help. really getting it. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Room's in pretty bad shape, but I'm doing just fine. I can't give you anything stronger without knocking you out. Please, that's all I need. What's the good of all your books and all your junk, all your toys, your stuff here? Well, if it doesn't do anything, what's happening here, Cheryl? Nothing very good. You're doing all you can, Cheryl. Look, I did go out to campus. Dad was in a faculty meeting. He couldn't come out. Wouldn't, I guess. What's the matter with him? How come you have to keep making excuses for him? Softly. Don't antagonize the people I need. Look, he's doing all he can. He sent his assistant to open up the lab and run a spectrograph on the slide from the hospital. He's a new boy. He knows his trade, too. But he said even learning the composition won't help unless they know the proportions. There's no way of testing that from a slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that brings us back to finding Waddell. You can stop looking. We just located your third possible. Waddell? He's been dead four days. Heart attack. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, but I'm supposed to look at some pictures. Uh, Ted, would you help this lady out, please? But they told me to speak to you. You see, I work at Crowley Pharmaceuticals. I was at the doctor when you folks came around. Bad cold. Ted, do you still have those pictures around here? The lady have a chair. Cowboy movie. I'd give you my boots. You're my pal, Hutch. Officer. Lady, please, please. Oh, I'm busy. Ted, but you... the pictures. I mean, the man. I do recognize this man. This man? Yes. Dick Bellamy. You mean this man came into your place and bought some chemicals? No, not chemicals. That's what's so strange. I mean, that's why I remember. He wanted to buy all the materials to make a leg cast. Thank you. Thank you, lady, very, very much. They say a vested interest in this case. Besides, he's our only lead. Listen, I've got to get out of town. I need the money now. They've got me staked out. Stasky and Hutchins. They were here a while ago. They just came back.
lie. He made me. Where is he? The roof! Stay here. Has he got a gun? Yes. He made me lie. That's terrific. Upstairs now. If his timetable is right, he's got less than two hours. Hey, buddy. I, I have to go now. Okay.
that's it, huh? No, that's not it. Look, Hutch, we only have two hours. I don't care if we got two minutes. We don't give up. We've missed something, Captain. We've been in such a hurry, we've... We've rushed right past something important. Look, Hutch, we put 200 names in the computer. We get 20 possibles and three primes. It's not our fault if they all wash out. They didn't all wash out. Vic Bellamy didn't wash out. He was a... Vic Bellamy... Only had a 10th grade education. How the hell did he get the smarts to pull something like this off? You think somebody hired him? Absolutely, don't you? Right. Somebody's got to tell me who. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Honest, I'm sorry. For Vic and you and me and your partner. He wasn't smart enough to do this by himself. He had to have help. Who helped you? I don't know. Who helped you? I don't, I don't know. Tell me! I don't know his name! Tell me! He hired Vic! Who? He has something to do with the university. It's late, but I have to talk with you. It's been quite a while. Come here. Thank you. Dad, why haven't you wanted me to come and see you? blaming me for Jerry. Your brother's dead. Let him lie. No. Tell me. It's important to me. You're important to me. I can't help thinking that when you told the police you lit the fuse. Jerry was peddling drugs on campus. I just wanted him to stop. I just wanted to help. Jerry was a good boy. Hutch, what are you doing here? Cheryl, I may need your help. Bear with me. I want to talk to your father. Detective Hutchinson, you're not welcome in my home. We've gone way past that, Professor. Hutch, what are you talking about? Ask your father, he knows. I just spoke with Vic Bellamy's widow. Vic Bellamy? The man that your brother was pushing dope for when he was killed. If you don't leave my house peaceably, I'm going to have to call the campus police. You'll find them busy, Professor. They and some detectives are opening up your laboratory. But why? They'll be looking for a poisonous compound injected into Starsky. Cheryl, 
Your father is the man who wants to kill him. That's insane. Yes, I guess it is. At least that's what the defense attorneys will plead. But you see, Cheryl, your father contacted Vic Bellamy a few weeks ago after he got out of prison. The two of them held a grudge against me and Starsky. It was a perfect partnership, wasn't it, Professor? Dad, please tell him it isn't so. Tell him. Yes, Professor, go on, tell me. Where did I make my mistake? The compound itself was far too sophisticated for anybody as simple as Bellamy. Dad. You will not find anything in the lab. It is here, isn't it? Of course it is. There's enough stuff for both Starsky and me. Dad, Dad, please, what is this all? Can't now I... shut up! Can't you ever keep your mouth shut? <laughs> you have it all figured out. Yes. But why? Because they killed my son. They killed Jerry. Professor, you don't think for... You don't think that we wanted to kill him, do you? I read your story in the police report. Dad, Hutch tried to protect you in that report. Jerry was an addict, stoned out of his mind constantly. That's a lie. Son, his mind had already been taken over. His brain was soup. <laughs> We tried to call him down. We tried to bring him back to the house. It's in the report. He grabbed my gun. It went off accidentally. It's not his fault. He was spaced out. <laughs> Professor, I'm asking you, I'm begging you, please, stop this before it's too late. My boy is dead. He was a good boy. And he's dead. I'm asking you to save my partner's life. Professor, give it to me. C.C. Diphenylamine. Yes, I think your friend's going to make it. Thank you, Doctor. Tell me to work as soon as possible. Yeah, we'll sit over here, huh? Watch yourself. <laughs> How you feeling? You look awful. Oh, I'm okay. You don't look okay. No, I'm okay, Captain. I'm gonna talk to those doctors personally. Oh, no, wait a sec, wait a sec, Captain. The doctors say that recovery has to start somewhere. It's best to become active as soon as possible. You don't look like you're gonna be active to me. What do you think, Hutch? I think it looks terrible. I think you ought to go home and go to bed till you get better. No. How long did the doctor say before you'd be fully recovered? 
couple of weeks, Captain. It's not that important. Shut up, Starsky. We know more about this than you do. You're going to take two weeks off. Well, if you insist. Would you get a glass of water for me? Yeah, sure. Captain Dovey here. Hey, Captain. Yeah, tell Starsky I got his reservations. Starsky's confirmed for two weeks in the pleasure capital of the Caribbean. Hutchison, get on that phone. It's important you hear this. Would you mind repeating that? Oh, it's just a great little hotel in St. Thomas. Yeah, all the New York secretaries go there. Yeah, it'll be full of all the kind of girls Starsky says he wants. It's got the other stuff he asked for, too. Tennis, scuba, marlin fishing. It's the greatest. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take uh, the proper action. Thanks very much. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. What do you think he's doing? Is that any way to treat a convalescent? 